Hello Aquarius, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are you? Uh, I'm here to do your tarot scopes for the month of December 2021. This will be for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Aquarius, you might want to listen to this reading. It is a general reading though, and uh, you know if it resonates, uh, claim it. If not, uh, come back and listen to it um, mid-month. It might hold more uh, more for you then. Um, okay, as with all my readings, please use your own intuition. That is the strongest and best guide that you have. I'm using my Revealing Light Oracle as the uh, overarching energy cards and then the Light Seas Tarot for some detail about what might be happening in December for you, Aquarius. All right, let's get started, Aquarius. What's happening for Aquarius? Hmm. A lot of work. Okay, so I'm seeing people behind screens, computer screens. So some of you will be working hard, hard and fast and long. There might be those last minute, uh, last minute things you'll need to be doing before the holidays. It's funny, all the signs I've read so far show this beautiful, moving into this beautiful reunification family type energy. And But for you Aquarius, it's a little bit different. I mean, there'll be that as well. But for you, there's a lot of work, a lot of work to be done for some, for some Aquarians I'm tapping into. All right, Aquarius, uh, what are the messages for uh, Aquarius for December 2021? Aquarius, December 2021. Right. Okay, review. There is always more than one option. Maybe you're working so hard, you're trying to think about how you can do it differently. This is Mars energy. Uh, looking at your options is the message behind this card. Libra chose uh, this as well, resilience. This is Taurus energy. Um, and of course, Libra is a cardinal sign. Um, and uh, this is around, even during uh, the darkest of storms, there is illuminating illumination within. Of course, Aquarius, you're the fixed sign. So maybe that's why that card has come up. Uh, be your own guiding light and never give up. So could be, uh, you know, the workloads are heavy at this time of year. Uh, there could be another situation, a learning, a lesson type situation that you're going through. Um, and one where... Uh, we've got adapting uh, again another seven so three lots of sevens here finding your way in something so review more than one option Mars energy choosing um, wisely but also the number 17 is here adding up to eight you could you might uh, have to choose in relation to your career or some sort of pathway forward and then you get resilience with another seven um, this is about learning or putting learnings into place and then we have 16 adding up to seven so you you've actually pulled three lots of seven around awareness and lessons um, and acting on acting on uh, your wisdom that you've gained so far and adapting and finding your way. I think there is change here uh, for some Aquarians. Let's see what is at the back base of the pack. Another seven, 27, um, adding up to nine. Again, Mars energy, put, putting your focus on your inner reality instead of someone else's. And we've got manifestation. So again, Mars energy, it seems to be three lots of Mars energy here, seems to be there are decisions for you to make, Aquarius. And you'll be using accumulated wisdom to make them. And then once you understand that you don't have to choose one doorway, that there are multiple doorways that you can walk through or multiple options that you've got before you, I think you make your choice. And this is where we go from here. Virgo energy work. It is around work. I'm getting a real pull to work. Virgo is the, um, it rules the sixth house of, uh, among other things, uh, work, service to others, adapting and moving forward and finding your way shows me you'll be, potentially could be in a new workplace. If you've retired, 
a new situation where work doesn't have to be paid. I uh, work on behalf of my family. I work on behalf of myself. I work on behalf of my health. And, uh, you know, some some of those things are hard work still. Um, so in some way, there's a focus on your work, whatever that work is, in December, and a choice to be made. A choice to be made. But you'll make the right choice because Aquarius... Aquarians are wise. They're wise because they not only learn from their own experiences, but they learn from others, other people's experience. Remembering that Aquarians are, are ruled, they're the associated with the eleventh uh, house, which is groups, networks, um, the co you know almost like the collective, um, and so you learn from the lessons that you see other people experience, and then you put all of that wisdom to good good use. Let's find out more about this Aquarius and see what's happening for you in December. Show me what's happening for Aquarius. Show me what's happening for Aquarius in December. Show me Aquarius for December. Okay, so we have here five of wands. Um, competition. Um, obstacles, having to really walk a line here to get to where you want to go. Fives are about change and then you've accomplished the change. And the Page of Wands throws that wand in the air and moves forward. So something that was stuck begins to move forward uh, again, albeit in a smaller way. Now you're pulling Page of Cups, which um, really indicates to me that that... Uh, adapting card in the oracle deck really was um, on point here uh, the page of cups talk talks about something surprise surprising coming out of the blue i don't get this as a a present situation i feel this is more like a past situation for you uh, but something occurring that you're not expecting or didn't expect uh, and then an offer being made to you in the past, we have the Six of Wands, uh, the Victory card. It's not hard for me to understand why Aquarius, <laughs> you know, the wise souls of the Zodiac, um, you know, get that Victory card because they do learn the lessons, hence the, se the Sevens appearing. Death and Rebirth, yeah, I do feel that there is a transformation occurring for you. Sorry, I'm just getting rid of a something on my tarot cards i've been doing a lot of cleaning in here today so death back to the reading <laughs> sorry about that but you know maybe that's something you're doing um doing a little bit of decluttering in your life there's something that you're transforming here death and rebirth um endings and new beginnings again the adapting card uh where is it because i almost feel like that this is your this is your one of your really really huge messages here going in a new direction in some way adapting and finding a way don't worry about it it's going to be okay um so crowning this reading is bringing something to a close this is scorpio energy in the nodes of course move into uh south node in scorpio north node in taurus in january 2022 uh, and in the focus is on bringing things to a close and starting new cycles. Um, the Three of Swords. So some of you have had straight up heartbreak and loss. Uh, some of you could have even been betrayed. I feel like, you know, obviously I'm reading for more than one Aquarian Aquarians here. Uh, some Aquarians, this is a focus on whatever work it is that you're you're doing. For others, this is just out and out heartbreak. And that's why we've got the transformation card there. Because when you're hit with something like this, you know, you really, it's a process to move beyond it. You know, this can even be bereavement for some. Okay, the King of Cups in the here and now. This is wisdom. And, uh, you know, the King of Cups is a nurturer and a supporter and a very wise old soul like you. This is water energy cancerian energy um is very strong i feel in this card 
It's about looking after others. And here I think it dovetails into your energy, Aquarius, because you are part of the group. You're part of the collective. Um, the Seven of Swords, somebody could have been lying to you. Hence the Three of Swords. Almost like some a bit of underhandedness here. But, but you have stayed above the fray in some way. Or somebody close to you has helped you through a potentially difficult situation, this heartbreaking situation. The hopes and fears, having everything you need. And here the uh, those Aquarians that I'm reading for that whose work is changing. Um, you might be worried about finances, but, but I don't think you need to be. I think you've made the right choice or will make the right choice. Stepping forward, leading with strength. Bold and courageous moves is the outcome card here. And the Empress card. This is abundance. Something, a decision you're taking has created, will create some sort of new form of abundance as well as a new start here. And we've got the Temperance card, very much a, uh, a card here. I feel that whoever's listening to this needs to know that December is a key month in this situation for you, whether it's work or whether it's the loss and the betrayal that you've been experienced. December is a key month where you find your find your courage and you move forward and you find your strength you do it with strength and as a result bringing in that that even handedness that Aquarians are so renowned for uh, and that moderation uh, but December is key the Knight of Pentacles again coming back to the work the page of swords a truth uh, emerging in the wheel of fortune Jupiter has been in, in in Aquarius the wheel of fortune things changing in your favor and you being uh, picked up targeted um, I guess because of the skills skills that you've got in whatever way your work is they've picked you because of your skill and maybe Aquarians don't pat themselves on the back enough I do feel for other Aquarians there are decisions to be made. They're reviewing reviewing plans, making choices. Just be aware that there's more than one option on the table. All right, Aquarius, thank you for tuning in.